Yo, what is up everybody? Today I'll be making a montage using InShot. It is a super popular app when it comes to editing on iPhone. And to be honest, one day I was just looking for new video editing apps on the App Store, and I just looked up Video Editor. And yeah, I just went through all these, and then boom, like the third one down was InShot. It has 1.3 million downloads and almost a 5 star rating, so it has to be pretty good. And just by the look of like these photos right here, it looks pretty good. And before I start editing, I want to react to a few of the more popular InShot montages. So yeah, let's get right into it. Alright, I'm on YouTube right here, and I just looked up InShot Montage. And yeah, we have a few tutorials, but this one caught my eye right here. I'm the best InShot editor. So yeah, we just gotta check this one out. But first, we gotta check if it's copyright and- <laughs> Maybe if we did Fortnite. Alright. Alright, we got this one right here, and it is, in fact, not copyright. But it looks like it's about 180p, so, uh, yeah, let's just press play. Okay. I don't know. Alright. Alright, I like the sync. So far, I like the sync. Uh, it's a little pixely. Okay. So, I'm seeing, alright, I'm seeing that it's easy to sync on it. I'm not seeing a lot of timer mapping, and I'm not seeing a lot of effects. I saw a transition there, so that's alright. More transitions. Sinking's on point. And we got another transition right there, and it looks like- Was that actually- I think I did see an effect right here. Alright, that was a little flash. Alright, that's not bad. That's not too bad. Wait, who's this guy right here? Alright, so we have another best InShot editor right here. Let's see if this guy's better than the other, and that's- Alright, it doesn't look like there's that many montages edited on InShot. So yeah, we know that we can at least sync, and we know that we can add transitions. So yeah, I think we should just start editing. Alright, we got InShot right here downloaded, and yeah, let's open this thing up. Alright, instantly it brings us to this page right here. And I'm actually real quick just gonna get the free trial for this, so I can add like all the effects and all that. Alright, now let's press on video, and I'm just gonna add in one of my clips to start. Alright, we got this page right here. Now we gotta add in our music, so let me scroll over, and we got music right here. Let's go to tracks, and extract audio from video, there we go. Alright, let's listen to this. That's the one, and press the check. Now, I'm wondering if I can add markers. That would be really nice if I could. So, what I think I'm gonna do for syncing is I'm just gonna have my, uh, my line right here on this beat. I'm gonna press the check marker. Cause, like, it goes away once I click off of it. So, I don't really like that. Alright, I'm gonna do this the old-fashioned way. And, so it tells me the time at the bottom right here. And the beat is at 3.1. And my first part where I want the beat is at 1.4. And we're pulling out the good old calculator. And we're doing 3.1 minus 1.4. Alright. So we that's how much we have to subtract off the song. So we gotta go to 1.7 and delete it. We gotta move it over. And watch this. Perfect. Oh my god. Watch this. Oh my god. Call me the math god. Now let me see if there's like a time button. Speed. There we go. Oh my god, there's a curve. Oh my god, that changes a lot. All right, all right, all right. Never mind, that, that changes a lot. Now we can really do stuff. So split, and we can go to speed, curve, delete that, delete that. All right, let's see what this looks like. Oh my god, that actually looks smooth. And then we're just going to mute this clip. All right, and then let's go back to this. Let's do speed, curve, and delete delete and it tells us at the bottom so it's still got to be 1.5 or just 0.5 i mean do like three speed and three speed that should be fine all right let's see what we got so far so we got yeah. all right now let's go back to our music all right and i see that there's another beat right here we're gonna keep our marker on that we're gonna press the check mark we are going to split it and delete it all right let's add in a cinematic Alright, and this actually makes it so much easier and so much nicer that they have a graph. So let's go to the point of the cinematic. And it'll actually just bring us right there. So it's like that little waveform right there. Let's time map this part right here. Speed, curve. I'm just gonna get rid of these two right here. So this is what we got right now. And then on like that clap, I'm gonna do like that part. So this is what we got for the cinematic. 
it looks pretty smooth and actually this whole edit is actually going way smoother than i expected let's add in another clip a few inches later so this is what we got all right let's actually go back to music again because we gotta split it on that next beat all right let's add in another cinematic so split it where we want it to start so just split it and delete it then we'll split it where we want to end. I think that's a good spot for it to end. So let's go to speed. And let's just make sure it stays the same speed. So we want it to still stay uh, 2.1. And that actually looks pretty good. So let's watch the whole thing just like the sinking. All right, now I'm trying to figure out where these effects are. I'm assuming they'll be in fill. Yep, they're right there. We got a TV effect right here. I kind of like the way that this noise effect looks. Definitely gonna add that on like a few beats, just as like a little frame. Now I wanna see the retro tab, because I think it looks pretty cool. But for now, I'm actually going to go to this first clip, and I'm gonna go to adjust, and I want to go to the saturation and turn it all the way down, so it's black and white. Now I'm gonna go to effect, and I'm gonna go to ghost and I'm gonna add that. All right, and then it'll do like a little shake out of that. Oh, can you not layer effects? I don't think you can layer effects. So that's a little bit weird. If we can do a transition, maybe that'll work. All right, and I found this one right here. It's under the glitch category. In my opinion, it looks pretty cool. And I just have, I'm just gonna, and I'm just gonna do like a short duration, like two. That looks pretty sweet in my opinion. All right, and I'm gonna do another thing with like the saturation. Turning that down, we're gonna go to effects, and I'm gonna do... Can we do this? Yeah. That looks pretty sweet. I kinda like the way that this flash thing looks. That probably looks the best right here. Let's do another, like, scan glitch like that. Now, why not do, like, a little beat shake right there? Doesn't look great, but it is something. Alright, so let's quickly cover what we have right now. So, we got our ghost effect our black and white boom we got good timer mapping and we got like that cool little glitch effect and we got our little shake and that cinematics our glitches and stuff like that i really like this tv effect more glitches a shake and one more little effect to make this look a little bit cooler but yeah that means we are pretty much finished with the whole edit now all we have to do is just export this thing out and we can get right into the reaction all right, we got it right here, so now let's get right into the reaction. Yeah. Oh, I like that part. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Whoa, that was way better than I was expecting. I'm not going to lie. I was really expecting it to be a bunch of like random filters and random light leaks. But dude, this actually turned out really cool. Especially with this part with like the glitches and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I do like that part. Just the sync was a little bit off, but but to be honest, the syncing in this app is not that great. Let's watch it again. Yeah. That's my favorite effect right there. I gotta be honest, the timer wrapping is good though. And once again, some of the effects I did like, I didn't like all of them, but there were a few that I did especially like. I wish you could overlap them. Overall, it was a lot better than I was expecting. Alright, that's pretty much going to wrap it up this video. If you guys enjoyed it at all, consider leaving a like and subscribing. It's free to do, and it helps me out. Also, let me know down below in the comment section what other apps you guys want to see me try. And yeah, with that being said, I'm out. Peace.